channel, Leslie Anna here from Leslie Anna Sparkle. If you're new to my channel, then hi to everyone that's watching, and of course to my lovely subscribers who tune into my videos all of the time. So really, really, really grateful that you're here. Anyway, today I have something a little bit different today. Um, it is an unboxing, and I have been gifted this by a company who asked if I like this product, would I do a unboxing and possibly a review on it. So I'm actually going to do both of those. So the company go by the name of Alacris, and they have sent me a automatic soap dispenser. So I'm going to be showing that to you. I have undone the top of the box, but I haven't done any more than that. I just wanted to sort of cut down on, you know, the unboxing sound. But it's in here, like that, really well packaged. Um, you can actually get this product on Amazon, and I will link everything down below in the description box. So let's get an unboxing, shall we? Um, this is, so say it's an automatic... Um, a soap dispenser. That's what the front of the box looks like. You can charge it up with the um, with the USB that comes with it. I will read to you a few facts that are on the side of the box here. So I just need to put my specs on for this. So, antibacterial rate 99.99%, infrared sensor, IPX5 waterproof, environmentally friendly material, um, 0.25's quick sensor response and easy liquid replacement. It says touch the power switch for three seconds to turn the product on or off. The blue light flashes for on and the red light flashes for off. And uh, there we go. This is a new type of smart infrared sensor soap dispenser with the advantages of compact size, easy operation, rechargeable, long lifespan and um, IPX5 waterproof grade. So let's get into this, shall we? Okay, so I can see it has got a instruction leaflet here. Which looks as though it's very, very comprehensive. There's a lot of pages to it. Guarantees, you've got specifications here. Um, instructions for utilisation. It's a very, very comprehensive little guide. And of course it does come in several different languages as well. So it's always wise to sit down and have a look at the instructions before you start something. And I have to say, I haven't, I really haven't. But what I have done is I've had a good look at it on Amazon and kind of got my information or a lot of my information from there. So it also comes with its own charging cable as well, which is brilliant. Rather than just do the unboxing, I'd actually demonstrate it as well. So this is the first time that I'm going to be demonstrating it. So we're going to do this together. So this is the actual soap dispenser itself. It's very, it's a very neutral colour. I know it's blue, but it would fit with, I think, most colourways. I haven't decided if I'm going to use this downstairs in the kitchen or in the bathroom yet. I'm in the bathroom currently because I thought that's where I might put it. Um, but I will try it downstairs as well. My bathroom is grey, my kitchen is white and sage and I think it would fit in either, either way. So I'll just take a little protective cap off and uh, so this here, little piece, little bit here, the little tiny cover for the little charging cable. So that just pushes in like that. Um, so you've got your pump bit here, um, the electronic part of it here. So I'm going to pop some um, hand wash in this. I've got a hand wash here, so I'm just going to use this one. This is an Avon Senses um, hand wash in Lagoon, which smells absolutely wonderful. 
Right, so I'm just going to pop that into there. Whilst that's just emptying into the dispenser, it does actually say here um, that the best ratio is a 2 to 1 ratio of water and soap. So I'm going to pop, which is probably what I've got in that bottle actually, I'll show you. So there you go, that's the um, hand wash and it takes it up to 200 mils. It does hold 320 mils, okay? So I'm gonna go up to 320 with water now. And I'm just gonna fill that from here, just to get any last little bit of hand wash into the dispenser. There we go. It also says if the dispensing part of it, the pump bit, you know, the bit where the liquid comes out of, if that kind of gets a little bit um, um, sort of gloopy after a while, just sort of wipe it off with a tissue. Right. I'm touching it. So. Right, okay, so as I've said, you've got 20 mil, 100 mil, 200 and uh, 320 here on the back. So I'm just going to walk you through the bits, you know, the, the parts on this. Um, so of course you've got the output mouth, which is here. You've got the infrared sensor, which is under, under there, okay. Um, obviously you've got your bottle cover here. Um, the liquid in, in the hole is, obviously it's underneath here as you saw me pop the uh, hand gel in. And then you've got your USB charging port, which I've shown you already, is at the back here. Just pull that little rubber seal out. And then you've got the embedded host in here. Right, so let's give this a go, shall we? Here we go then. So I've just popped it on the side of the sink in the bathroom. And if you can see the blue LED light at the top, we'll see that in a minute. There you go. That means that there's still power and that's it, you know, it's working. Um, if it's red, it does need to be recharged. So as you can see, I've got the the soap and it has all come out frothy so I think that's why you have to put the um, sort of soap and the water in as well so it's all nice and soapy I didn't have to touch the top at all um, you literally just and you see that blue light flashing you know there's got charge you just pop your hand underneath where the sensor is you can hear it coming out some more and that's it, you just wash your hands. So, rinse those off. And in today's climate, it's really important to keep washing our hands, isn't it? And if you don't have to touch the top of your um, soap dispenser, a bit like, say, this one, if I had this one up here or downstairs, you have to literally pump it down. So everybody, even when you use the toilet or whatever, you know, they're like pumping it down. Um, so not really the best, is it? Um, I might leave it up here. Now I've said that, I might leave it up here. Um, I will take it downstairs, take a photograph. Thank, Thank you so much to Al Chris for sending me this to do a review. I think it's one of those really practical things to use around the house. Even if you were to gift this for somebody, you know, that person that you don't know who to buy anything for, you can never go wrong with something like this, can you? Um, so yeah, I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I'd be absolutely delighted if you would subscribe. And of course, by pressing that notification bell, you will know when I've done my next upload. So until then, my lovelies, everyone stay safe. Enjoy.
Queen's 70th Platinum Jubilee Bank Holiday. It's glorious today. Um, so yeah, take care everyone. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.